This is FYI on your TV. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Brian Perkin with me. Thank you very much. This is your first time on our set here on FYI. It is, yes. Yeah, very good to be here, Kathy. Thanks for the invitation. People know you very well from Lake 88. Yes. And today yeah. we're going to talk about the Perth Festival of the Maples because you are the new chair of the, the new president of the Perth and District Chamber of Commerce, but you're also the chair of the Perth Festival of Maples. It's going on for how many years? Well, this will be our 47th year, not consecutive because of COVID, etc. But uh, yeah, year number 47, so number 50 is not that far away. I yeah. think last year when I walked through the, the Festival of Maples, it was almost the first event I went to that it opened up after COVID and I was amongst people. Yes. And it felt so nice. Yeah. yeah. Even on a yearly basis, it's almost the first rite of spring, right? People want to get out and and uh, see neighbors they haven't seen for the year and, and the rest of it. So it's always a, you know, kind of a first. And because of that, sometimes the, the uh, weather can be a little iffy, but uh, we had a beautiful year to reemerge and relaunch last year. So it was good. We're hoping for the same on the 29th of and, this month. And you do rain or shine, but you've done it snow or shine too. <laughs> yes, yeah. And the crowds still come out and enjoy it all, even if it's raining. They That's right. don the raincoat and away they go. So let's talk about the day itself. What's it sure. look like? So it uh, essentially runs from nine until four. Um, and we're, uh, you know, with probably about 155 uh, vendors now. These are nonprofits, uh, full business people. Uh, it's almost like an outdoor, um, you know, home show type of a situation. It's uh, on uh, Gore Street from Craig, which is Highway 43, right up to uh, the four corners, if you will, at uh, Foster, and then also along Foster from uh, Wilson to uh, Drummond as well. So um, everybody's there with uh, the uh, different vendor things. We have uh, lots going on, uh, crafts, uh, as I would say, full business people, demonstrations. And then, of course, we have a uh, antique and classic car show, which goes on Harriet Street at Gore. Uh, we get lots of cars coming in if the weather is good. Um, we also have um, uh, our safety square in the Tay Basin. So that includes rides for the kids. RJ's does uh, rides there. So we have bouncy castles and a uh, you know, rock climbing wall and, and different things for the kids to do. Petting zoo as well, plus safety demonstrations from the uh, Perth Fire Service and, uh, and different people like that as well. Some arts and crafts for the kids inside the Crystal Palace that day. Corny clowns there with the, uh, the balloons and face paint, etc. And then we've got a main stage with entertainment that goes from uh, 10 till 4. And uh, it's uh, Tripod is uh, there this year with Terry Tufts, uh, Catherine Briggs and their daughter. Uh, we've got CR5 Bluegrass. We do the awards for the Maple Syrup Producers Association um, and opening ceremonies as well. And then uh, we also have uh, entertainment the afternoon with Crooked Creek Bluegrass and Doubleback Country Band. And uh, we've, for the last number of years, we've been instituting what we call our Wood Cookie Challenge. And uh, this is something that uh, includes something we call a sap tapping competition. So using an old style brace and bit into a, you know, a, a wood tree uh, stump type of a situation, uh, trying to get the, uh, the hole in and then tap the spile in, get the bucket on, and that's a timed event. And we also have a cross-cut saw competition as well for the wood cookies. In other words, it's sawing old-fashioned two-person team on the old cross-cut saw back and the forth. Old the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned <laughs> and the very uh, labor-intensive ways. Yeah. So that's a lot of fun. And that will go from 1230 to 130 this year as well. Okay. You yeah. know what I always find interesting too is, is the visiting and the talking to, to people. It's been going on for 47 years. The process of, of gathering maple syrup or sap and, and making maple syrup has changed so much in the 47 years. When you talk to the, the maple syrup uh, businesses that are there, and you've got many, mm -hmm. uh, they can talk about historically, you know, how they used to, their families used to do it. And now they, you know, they've got the lines out and everything when, you know, versus the, each tree was a, a tap and a bucket sort of thing. And you also meet so many people that have been there almost since the beginning, uh, you know, the 47 years, the people mm -hmm. that have attended it too. So yeah. you get to talk to so many people. That's right. And so many, we probably have about uh, 15, 16 actual maple syrup producers who come out. Most of them are yearly, you know, big uh, concerns, uh, Fulton's, Temple's, 
uh, Oliver's Tree Works, you know, all these people. Um, and then uh, some people who are, you know, sort of new to the game as well. And you're right, their, their methods are completely different. Not too many people are hand bombing buckets of sap anymore. It's, uh, you know, the suction lines and, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a real, you know, it's a real production. But it's, it's a real produce as well. And uh, it's a big, you know, it's a big crop essentially too. It is, you know, yeah. yeah. We had a, a, a real warm spell, I believe it was in February too. They were able to get some sap off in February and then uh, they had to wait again and it started up again too. So it's, mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's amazing. This year it was kind of fits and starts, they say. It That's ran, right. didn't run, ran again. It wasn't like a whole two weeks of those perfect temperatures of plus five and minus five type of a situation. But um, talking to many producers, they kind of say that this one was almost, uh, you know, a record, but uh, not mm -hmm. quite, but still a bumper crop this year. And they're very happy with, uh, you know, the uh, things. And of course, a lot of those producers then who are coming uh, to the Maple Fest on the 29th of this month, they also uh, put their products into the awards category that the Lanark and District Maple Syrup Producers Association uh, have. And they, you know, uh, will award, you know, a best, uh, I don't know all the categories, but, uh, you know, sweetness, whatever. And there's, there's different categories of actual maple syrup. And then all the other stuff. I mean, uh, you know, the maple uh, sugar, you get the, the maple syrup dressing you get maple syrup wine if you're <laughs> if you're into that as well but uh every year it, it seems so somebody's using maple syrup to bake build something else food wise and i actually i've seen recipes this year where people were starting to cook with just the sap mm -hmm. and not even the maple syrup oh thought, yes wow that's yes. a great idea yeah, that's a yeah, great idea yeah. but there's so much more too and you actually close the streets off too yes. the businesses stay open but the streets are closed off for the vendors and and our maple syrup producers. that's right yeah yeah we have uh, you know it's it's a fundraiser for the it's our largest fundraiser for the Perth and District Chamber of Commerce so um, so many of the people that uh, are are there are are chamber members um, Gore Street, Foster Street merchants who either buy a booth or they set up a you know sort of a sidewalk uh, sale type of a situation. So yes, every everything's closed down and uh, the streets are for the citizens that uh, that week that uh, that that day on the Saturday the 29th. So it's a lot of fun. That's Absolutely. that's how you can you know meet a lot of friends and family and. And, and your calendar it. of events, is that posted on your website and your Facebook page if yes. you want to come out specifically and see any entertainment? Yep, yep. yep. So uh, just go to festivalofthemaples.com and there will be uh, everything there. We have helicopter rides this year at Conlon wow. Farm, in fact. Uh, we have Thousand Islands um, helicopter tours coming in. So there, and you'll also find on the website entertainment lineup, you'll find forms for if you'd like to enter our wood cookie challenge we talked about mm -hmm. or, um, you know, uh, you know, various other things should be able to find it all. We've got recipes, maple syrup recipes, and you know what uh, you know what it takes to actually produce maple syrup. So it's all there on oh, the website. Wonderful. Looking forward. This is going to be the 47th year. It'll be the 47th, 47th annual. Yeah, excellent, yep. excellent. We look forward and we look forward to it. Got to congratulate you on retiring from Lake 88 in two weeks, but you're still going to be there. Trading Post and uh, Sunday Cafe, among other things. Yes, so it's, we'll keep a finger in it. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Well, we thank you very much for being here for the Perth Maple Festival, but uh, also everything you do at Lake 88, too, because uh, I so enjoy the Lacey's Trading Post. <laughs> it goes back. Well, your father, of course, you know, started the uh, Lacey's Trading Post. We went back and forth trying to figure out what year, but... Uh, I was listening to that, and you actually got... Um, one of the Sodden's girls on there talking. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. and she was giving some history yeah. to it too. Originally so. Sodden's, yeah. you know, trading post, and now Lacey's for, for uh, over 16, well, coming up to 16 years this August. That's so, right, yeah. that's right. Wow, yeah. wow, congratulations. Thank you very much, Kathy. I, uh, it doesn't look like you're slowing down any, so. <laughs> I'm hoping to at some point. Yeah, at yeah. some point. Yeah. Well, well, thank you very much for everything you do. Thank you for being here, and I hope it's not your last time here on FYI. All right, thank you very much, Kathy. I appreciate it. <laughs>